all right let's work this out together okay so what we have here i have a triangle here and each length of the triangle is represented by their own expression okay this is represent here this represent this one and this represent this one okay so the first question it's they're asking you to work out the expression for the perimeter of the triangle okay so again we are very familiar with this word perimeter so all you need to do is to add up these three expression here all right add up these three expression here okay so let's start with that all right, let's start with that so question one all right so i want to start from here and move my way around here okay so what do i have it's i have bracket 3w bracket 3w bracket square perimeter i will add this one that's gonna be 5w okay a bracket again w minus v close bracket plus the last line over here that's gonna give me 2v bracket 3v minus 2w close bracket okay all right i'm gonna start to expand this now now again this again looks very messy all right and to help you look easier i'm gonna add some brackets in some big brackets in so that you know what you need to work out all right so these are all their individual lengths all right yeah, individual lengths one two and three and i'm going to work out one by one all right so what do we have here three w square all right now three w square okay it's basically nine w square right so what after i expand here that will give me nine w square now how why okay now some of you might not sure how to do this but let's just go back to basic 3w square basically what does it mean it means multi this 3w it's multiplying by itself correct so 3 times 3 i will get 9 w times w i will get w square right so that's how we get the answer or another way for you to think about it we can also branch it out like this so since you know you have you're gonna take three times three i can also write as three square w w multiply together is gonna be this okay so in another words this is actually a rule over here all right it's one of the indexes rule uh -huh. so when you have a b raised to the power of n you can always rewrite this as a to the power of n b to the power of n all right so in another words when you said next time when you see this just make sure that everything inside the bracket you just square it i mean if it's square it's if it's square if it's power of four make sure everything inside here power of four that's all okay so that's the general rule about it huh? so that's how i get this plus now let's work this out so again i need to do my expansion all right the outside number I will multiply everything from the inside okay so let's do one by one so w uh, 5w multiply with w i will get 5w square right i'm done with this one more to go multiply so i will get plus 5wv right i'm done with this as well next one plus i need to do my expansion again so let's do this one by one so what do i get here i will get 6v square okay and i'm since i'm done with this i'm gonna do this now okay don't forget there's a negative sign here so that will give me minus that will give me minus 4vw right stick together okay right i have done expand so what can i do now after i expand i will collect like terms or arrange them according to the same family so let's identify them together so i have my w square family let's identify 
this one and this one okay so we know that both of these can add together okay now before i talk about these two let's talk about this first 6v square it's by itself so this guy it's by itself all right you can't add this or subtract this and whatnot lah, huh? so what's left what's left is this one and this one over here but try to take a look at this this is wv and this is vw do you think do they belong to the same family all right are they like terms okay if you say they are like terms you are correct now why again very similar to the previous example i gave you three times two i will get six right so two times three i will get six as well correct or not see it doesn't matter when i'm multiplying it doesn't matter how i arrange the number right i can flip it front and back it will still give me the same answer okay so instead over here since we are interested to let's see all right so we are interested we can actually flip one of this okay to look like this also so let's change for this one so i can flip the w and v and i can change it to v w okay with that all right so right now we can add them okay so this plus this that will give me 14 w square all right 6v square okay before we do that let's do here now now we already know that this thing okay let me uh yeah, yeah. okay we can know that this thing over here it's one family now all right but you need to be careful of one thing you need to be very very careful of one thing there's a negative over here okay remember that so if you want to add this one to this one so what do you get 5vw minus 4vw that will give you only vw that's all all right that's all okay we will not write on some of you might say hey teacher where's the one in front here because 5 minus 4 that's one right we will not write the one over here because anything multiplied by one it's its own number right it's the same number so we don't have to write this one when we write like this it's already understood behind over here it's a one okay so what's left what's left is this guy a uh, 6v square okay so what else can we do here we can't so that is the expression for the perimeter okay so let's do for part two right now now work out the perimeter of the triangle when w is 2 and v is 3 so since I have a nice expression over here, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to substitute everything in, okay? So I have 14, W, that's going to be my 2 squared plus VW, that's going to be 2 times 3. I have 2 and 3 here, okay? Plus 6V, V, that's going to be my 3 squared. Now again, to make sure you prevent yourself from making any sort of careless mistake, make sure you wrote down the equation correctly and make sure you substitute everything correctly, okay? And once you're done with that, let's proceed with calculation. Okay, so what do we get here? All right. So, 2 square. Okay, remember board mass, huh? Remember board mass, huh? Okay, now to help you to see better, I can also add a bracket here. So we know that we can solve everything parts by parts okay so we don't make any careless mistake so remember board mass power first two square you will get four four times 14 that will give you 56 all right that will give you 56 over here all right plus two times three that will give you six plus three square will give you nine all right three square will give you nine nine times six that will give you 54 all right so finally, let's work this out. 56 plus 6 plus 54. Last I checked, it is 116. And true enough, it's 116. Okay, done. All right. So that's how we work out question that looks something like this. Okay.